Hey fellas, and welcome to another video on PetNet Games about uh, cutting out things from Smash Brothers. I already did one of these a little bit ago, and uh, basically what I did was I cut out half the characters in Smash Brothers, but this time I figured the next ne natural step would be to uh, cut out half of the items in Smash Brothers. Um, but I do have a little bit of a scenario in mind for when I'm doing this. Uh, so, for my reasons, the reason what drives my reasoning for cutting out these things, uh, for one, is going to be that uh, any item I remove, I can never play with again in any Smash Brothers game. That's the scenario I'm setting up. Obviously, I'm not going to actually do that, but that's the scenario I'm setting up uh, for reasoning with, with which ones I get rid of. But the second kicker is going to be that every item that is still left in. I'm going to play with in every single match, which means there's going to be a chance for that item to spawn in every single match from here on out. So I really got to choose my items uh, uh, specifically. Now, here's the deal. I'm not usually much of an item player. Um, I have respect for the items. I think I have more respect for items than a lot of other um, mainstream uh, uh, Fox 1v1 Final Destination players. But um, I, that being said, you know, I, I, I do like to have my mix of item matches, but then also like actual matches. And usually the more bonkers items are the ones that kind of bother me the most. So I have to be very careful here because if I'm playing for some of these items for the rest of my time, I got to make sure that the ones I can I can handle or whatnot. But let me tell you, half of these items, it's there'd be more than half that I would get rid of for every single match just from looking at it. So like while the previous game it was kind of like a mix of uh, characters I didn't want to get rid of, this one is going to be a, like, there's not enough items to get rid of. So, we're going to try it out, though. Uh, so, there's going to be 82 characters, which means I have to get rid of 41 items. And it dawned on me that uh, it's actually, we have the same amount of items as we did characters back before Byleth was announced. Um, also, my last video, I didn't include Byleth. That's because it was recorded before Byleth came out, but come on. Some people like to pretend that Byleth doesn't even exist, so... <laughs> maybe I can just use that as my excuse. It's not, it's not unpopular to hate on Byleth, so maybe I'll just do that. But, uh, no, um, I ended up cutting out an extra character, like, anyway, on accident, so let's just say that the, uh, let's just say that that evens it out, okay? Okay, anyway, on to the actual items. Um, what I've got here is a red shell. I'm gonna be putting this on top of things when I want to get rid of it. So basically, uh, the reason I use the red shell is because that's actually the first item that got removed from a Smash Brothers game. It got removed after the original, so I thought that'd be fitting. Also, it's just a nice, uh, circular object that can do relatively easily. So, here we go. Um... Right off the bat, I want to get rid of some of the items that I hate the most, and immediately one that comes to mind is this blower. I heckin' hate this thing a lot. It just knocks you off the stage. It's no bueno. Um, I kind of feel like adding shadows to these might help differentiate them a little bit, so let me actually do that real quick. Can I just do like that? That looks fine, yeah. And we'll just copy that onto here. Okay, so... Uh, basically, blower, it's gone. I hate it. That's one item down. Not gonna be a problem. Okay. Uh, let's also get rid of... That's another one I really dislike. This lightning bolt one's really annoying. I feel like I want to get rid of that one at some point anyway. So let's just get rid of that one. I don't like that one because it's, uh, it's just kind of, like, random to it. I don't mind so much the idea of, like, turning other people small, but the fact that it can turn yourself small sometimes, like, come on. I, I feel like, in general, there shouldn't be items you, like, don't want to get and that people don't want to have happen to them. I think that's what makes an item less fun. Um, I'm also going to get rid of the clock for that matter, because that one's also a little bit of a random one. I think neither of those are very fun to do. Um, geez, okay, back shield. I'm going to get rid of back shield. Well, that's one of the more tame ones. I should leave that on for now. I just don't think it's a very fun item, but also it's kind of more tame, so I might actually want it a little bit more. Fake smash ball, I don't need that. Um, again, items that, like, are... that that are bad for you, but like the Smash Ball specifically is something that everybody goes after. I can tell you right now, I'm going to keep the regular Smash Ball. Actually, that's one of the items I usually try to keep on because I think that it's more fun. Um, but we're, yeah, we're, we're, we're not going to do the fake Smash Ball here. Um, some of the healing stuff I think is good, like Maximum Tomatoes and the, the food. I kind of like those a little bit. Maybe the heart is a little ridiculous. The heart is like an instant heal, is it not? Maybe I'll get rid of the heart. Um, now, some of the reasonings for this, I could go into, like, representation. I think the heart's a really cool thing to grab because it is from, like, Zelda and it's one of the most prized possessions. But I, I have to just think about, like, mechanically speaking. Uh, I don't think we need much healing better than Maximum Tomato. Maybe we don't even need a Maximum Tomato. I'm going to leave it there for now, but I'll definitely think about it. Poisonous Mushroom, no thank you. It looks way too much like the regular Mushroom, and again, it's just an item that people try to get and it ends up hurting them, so I don't like that one very much. Um... 
Let's see, any others that are, like, very abundantly clear, like, get the hecaroni out of here. Yes, yes, there is one. This guy right here. Uh, this guy, he will just pick you up, take you off the screen. You can try to get out of it, the higher percentage you are, the less likely that it is. That's no fun. Um, oh, no, I'm sorry. I got this guy mixed up with this guy. This is the guy I want to get rid of. Um, this guy, yeah, the beetle is annoying. Also, let's get rid of this guy, though, because this guy also is annoying. He, like, warps you down and still takes you off screen. Don't really like the taking off screen stuff. So. I'm trying to avoid items that's just, like, instant death, I guess. Um, and I feel like I'm gonna have to get rid of the golden hammer for that matter. Also, the golden hammer sometimes just isn't that good, and just that inconsistency is really annoying to work with, both as a uh, problem who's trying to get the item and as someone who's trying to avoid the item. So, the more inconsistent, the less likely I am to keep it, probably. Um, some of these items I am kind of really liking, like the soccer ball. That's one I think I'd like to keep. I think it's kind of just a fun way to try to smash people off. Uh, invincibility star. Come on now. For the rest of my life, I don't want to have any invincibility. Because, like, if I'm doing a 1v1 on, on, on just, like, regular regular uh, smash matches, I don't really want uh, someone to go invincible. Also, while we're up here, I'm thinking I might get rid of Master Ball. Because the thing is, I actually kind of... The Pokeball is kind of cool. The Pokeball is kind of cool. It has some unfair stuff that will sometimes throw you out. But it just unloads, like, an entire arsenal of items, basically, that you can use. And, uh, if I'm talking about for the rest of my life, you know, that variety might just stick interesting to me. Same thing with Assist Trophy. I think Smash Ball, Assist Trophy, and Pokemon Ball, I think those have to stay. The Master Ball, though, it specifically throws out legendary Pokemon, a lot of which are super overpowered. And I don't think I necessarily need that in my life, especially because the Pokeball already has a chance of getting those anyway. So we are going to get rid of the Master Ball. I think it actually was a cooler addition, um, but in the long run for the rest of my life, I'm thinking no thank you. Also, I actually really like the Dragoon because it's like something that you're fighting over for like the entirety of the match. And finally, once you get it, you can use it. And it feels like a more rewarding like instant kill than some of the other items. So I actually think I'm going to leave the Dragoon. I'm not sure if I ever felt super big attachment to the big gun. It just, it seems like, it always seems like people want the Dragoon instead. And the big gun itself, it's just, um, it's just, it's just, uh, it, it, it's not super good because he just goes in like a horizontal line and it's easy to dodge. And if you're playing with these kind of items, you're probably playing in more than just a super flat world. So I don't know. I don't feel like that's super necessary. I feel like the Dragoon already does the job. Plus, I got to get rid of half of these. It's actually becoming a little bit more difficult than I thought, though. I thought like, oh, I'd want to cut all of them. But now that I'm kind of looking at them, a lot of these I actually kind of like. Um, this guy, tell you what. I don't. I just don't need this guy. It's like it's a bomb. It walks around. I don't need it. I don't need it. It's gone. Okay. I don't. I don't really have any attachment to it. It's one of the newer ones. Whatever. You're out of here. Um, I actually like this ore club a little bit. It's a little bit overpowered with the um, with the with the uh, giant tornado that it causes. So I might have to come back to that one. And get rid of this one. Is less fun to play, but like also a little bit more tame. The sword actually gets shorter the longer you use it. So I kind of like that one. I feel like lipstick is a classic. I feel like I can't get really, really get rid of lipstick. It's been such a big part since melee, um, and it's just like a cool item that slowly damages you. I just like the I like the lipstick. I like the hammer too. <sighs> the hammer is overpowered though. Come on now, <laughs> the hammer is overpowered ever since the beginning. Ooh. But there's also been a lot of scenarios where you can kind of avoid the hammer, and I'm thinking more of like matches where if you are playing with items, it's gonna be like a bigger map usually with sometimes more players. So, it's not super annoying, but also I'm going to be playing some 1v1s here. Like, if we're talking about the rest of my life, I'm going to want to play some flat 1v1s. And a hammer in a Final Destination scenario might just be a no-go. I'm sorry, hammer. You're like the first, like, ultra-classic weapon that I'm getting rid of. But, uh, it's just unfortunate. It's unfortunate, but I think I think I just got to do it. So, we're 14 items, I think. Possibly 15 items in. So... Boy, we are kind of getting rid of some stuff. Um, this thing needs to go. Um, I think that's just the black hole. I don't really need it. Honestly, I don't actually even remember so much what it does, but because I don't remember, it makes me feel like I don't really need it so much. Uh, banana peel. Ooh, yeah, let's get rid of the banana peel. We do not need the banana peel at all. Okay? Okay, banana peel is gone. Um, boy, yeah, stuff is narrowing out. Don't think I necessarily need the bees nest that thing is just kind of annoying it's hard to really see too when like the you zoom out on the map you can't really see the bees attacking you super well i don't think i really need it oh smoke ball i don't need the smoke ball 
Don't need a smoke ball. While we're here, don't need the Deku Nut. That can go. The, the, the Deku Nut, the Deku Nut, I think in theory is such a cool item, and it's cool to have a reference to like uh like Young Link kind of stuff. Um, and it's and it's it's a unique item. It's effective in what it does, but gosh diggity dang when you accidentally hit that thing when you're trying to grab it and it stuns yourself no 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 thank you you're gone you're out of here speaking of gone and out of here the banana the banana pistol is not bad i actually think i kind of like it but then it gives you a peel afterwards and i don't want any appeals see i've got too much ptsd from slipping and brawl i don't want to slip no more in the regular game you know what i mean for the rest of my life i don't think i need a banana gun in my life um boy Ooh. some of these I feel like I'm missing like some overpowered ones that I definitely gotta get rid of too. I really like the fairy bottle actually. I think that's one of my favorite healing items because you have to try to hold on to it in order to use it because you can only use it after 100%. I think that's like, it just adds some cool strategy to it. So I'm actually gonna leave that one here. I don't think I need the team healing thing though. I'm not planning on, when I do teams, I don't know. Like it's already enough. Um, I just, I, it's just wonky to me. It's like you throw this at someone and heals them. I don't know. I You rarely get it to work on the actual teammate. Most of the time you just end up throwing it on the other person anyway. I don't need the healing shield either. I just feel like the consumables already heal enough for me. I don't really need something shielding. It just kind of becomes annoying to attack in. Um, bullet Bill, that one's actually kind of a cooler one. Mm, the curry. I think the curry is a cool one in theory, but it's just the burning. Like it gets annoying. Trying to fight that guy to just walk all over you. Yeah, all right, I'm sorry. Sorry, Bernie. You're uh, you're you're toast. Not winning this election, that's for sure. And um, ooh, I actually like the flag. The flag is a little overpowered, but you gotta wait such a long time to use it. And for the rest of my games, I just think it, it's it's a cool little addition. I I like it. I'll stick with it. I'll stick with it. Um, this jetpack thing is kind of stupid, but also a little bit harmless. So I feel like maybe I should keep it. This Metroid Jumper Roof Bunny is kind of a classic for me, and I don't think it's super overpowered, so I might leave that. Franklin Badge. Franklin Badges are annoying, and it's hard to even tell when you're using it, but it just deflects projectiles, so it's not like super overpowered. You can still beat them to death, and uh, I might keep that. Honestly, the baseball's cool, uh, but mm, I don't think I need it. So we already got a soccer ball. We got enough sports in Smash, you know what I mean? Uh, ooh, the, the chicken, the cuckoo. The cuckoo's annoying. The cuckoo's really annoying. Yeah, let's get rid of the cuckoo. That's, that just does too much damage. Again, liking the Zelda references, but nah. Nah, fam. That's, that's, that's a no-go for me. I like the green shell. I like the bumper. I actually like the bumper. Isn't that funny? Um, I like Mr. Freeze. Um, uh, don't really care about this guy, but it's too harmless to remove him yet. Sticky Bomb. Yeah, all right, I'm sorry, Sticky Bomb. You're not my thing. You're just not my thing. I feel like the Smart Bomb is such a classic now, and it is, it's good, but it's not much of a smashing move. It just does a lot of damage. But for every single match, do I really want to play with a Smart Bomb in every single match? No, I don't think so. Sorry, Smart Bomb, you're out. Again, like the reference, though. Uh, Super Scope, I like the Super Scope, what can I say? What can I say? Also, they nerfed it in this one, so like it's not even, it's not as crazy as it used to be. So I kind of like it. I think we'll stick with it. Fire Flower is a classic, definitely something that's not too crazy or bonkers. Ray Gun. In this version of the game, the Ray Gun is not super overpowered. I kind of like the Ray Gun. Most of the guns I'm kind of down with. Um, this thing. Mm, I don't need this thing. It's just another like slasher. I think it's a sword. The sword seems uninspired to me. It's just straight up a sword. You use a sword and you slash with it. It's a sword. We have other more inspired stuff like the laser sword and the fire thing and, and whatever this heck hecker is. Um, and I don't think I'm going to need this guy either. Bunny hood. See the bunny. The bunny. It's not only classic and not only a reference to one of the awesome Zelda games that being Bajora's Mask but also freaking running fast is kind of fun it's just fun to kind of change up your speed and transform you like that so I feel like I'm gonna keep that same thing with the metal box metal box I feel like is a nice item because it's also a little bit detriment to yourself both of these kind of are you kind of it's a give and take when you want to use these but not in a random sense in a what's your ability to control this sense which is why it's better than some of the other randomized items um I like the Warp Star. Warp Star is a classic, and uh, it's not super overpowered. 
Um, I don't even remember what this gun is. So I feel like I should get rid of it. I freaking don't even remember what that does. We already have the ray gun, we don't need that. I like the steel driver gun, actually. I like how that game, like, they were kind of pushing for it around the time that the Smash Brothers came out. But then after it came out, literally nobody started talking about it anymore. So, um, what we'll do is we'll keep it there. The drill, the drill is kind of a fun weapon because you use it and then it has like a second use where you can throw it again. It's not overpowered. I'm going to stick with it. I like it. Star Wand. Star Wand's kind of lame, not going to lie. It's not very good. It is a classic. It's definitely a classic, but like... It's almost too tame. It feels superfluous. Like, you can hit someone with something, but then sometimes launch a tiny little attack at it. Ooh. This might be the first time where I'm really getting rid of an underpowered weapon, but I think I'm going to get rid of the Star Wand. That's a that's a OG. That's a Smash Bros. original. I don't get rid of those very often, but uh, I got it. I got it. I don't think it's it's necessary. Boy, we are kind of running out of options here. Um, I love the Pikmin representation with this with this thing, but also eh, it's hard to really account for. It's basically just the star. Do we really need the star and that? The only difference is that the star you go on and take control of. I have to get rid of my Pikmin bias though. I think and get rid of this. It's just not necessary. We already have um, another item that'll do that just fine. Um, speaking of stars, this warp star, I don't really need it. I don't think it's very good. Um, it's just kind of an obstacle that gets in the way, so I think I'm gonna get rid of that one. While I'm here, I don't really need this boomerang either, gonna be honest. It does like no damage and it comes back to you. It's definitely not overpowered. It's just one that I don't really care for. It's not super interesting. The blue shell. All right. Blue shells have a stigma of being not very uh, underpowered. In fact, some might say overpowered in Mario Kart. In Smash Brothers, it's really good. It does the big explosion, but it trails around you for so long that you can kind of avoid it, especially when there's other players around. And it's just cool adding the strategy of like trying to kill other players with it instead of yourself. But it is overpowered. It's overpowered. It follows you, and I don't think it can hurt the person who uses it, so like, I, I don't know. It's it's just, it's too good, I think. It's still too bonkers for every single match that I'm going to play from now on, you know what I mean? I gotta, I gotta live with this stuff in this scenario, so I'll get rid of it. The POW block. POW block's kind of fun, kind of wonky, kind of quirky, you know what I mean? Um, but not super special. There's nothing that special about it. It can be an instant KO if you hit someone with it in their high enough percentage, but also if it's just around the block you accidentally hit it and it shakes the screen. Eh, but the shaking of the screen, it's, it might be more annoying than it's worth, so I think I am actually going to get rid of it. Sorry, pal. Not today. You can kapow yourself out of this one. I'm thinking this X-Factor guy, this uh, Explode Arena dude, who does the X, I think I find him more annoying than helpful. Or no, he's helpful, but like I find him more annoying than than necessary to keep. I don't like him. Yeah, I'm I'm getting rid of it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bomb Chew I think is a cool one. Um, it's a trail. It trails the map and then explodes on it. So where you throw it is actually kind of important, which I think is cool. The ones that require a little bit more thought, I think, are the ones that I tend to stick towards. Um, as for the sun, all right, I'm gonna get rid of the sun. I actually like the sun, kind of. I like the sun when it works. But the amount of time, think of how many times you've thrown a sun and it just doesn't work. Like it either just falls off the platform you throw it on or you throw it on a platform that just doesn't do anything. The idea of it getting bigger and coming around, but also it's just so fast. If it were slower, like in like something that comes back to haunt you, I feel like it'd be kind of cooler. But as its current state, I don't think we really need the sun in our lives no more. Um, this mushroom dude, freaking, what does this guy even do? I don't remember what the mushroom does. If I don't remember what it does, it's gone. <laughs> I don't need it. I clearly did not leave enough of an impression on me. I mean, granted, most of my impressions of items are from earlier games because that's when I, you know, back in the day when everyone was bad, we used to all play with items. And uh, those were all good times, very fond memories. I learned a lot about items during those, but also I like my fair share of no item matches because I feel like I've kind of outgrown it a little bit and I don't necessarily need new items anymore. But that said, I do like items and that's why a lot of these I'm hesitant to get rid of. This back shield, man, is so stupid, but it's so, it's so, it's so not overpowered. And I feel like there's got to be some overpowered ones here that I got to get rid of. All right, this, this guy, the eye thing that you place on the turret and just like shoots and you hit it and get turned direction. It's just annoying as all get out. I don't like it. I don't see, it's not fun. It's not fun. 
It's not fun. I don't think it's fun. I'm getting with it. Um, boy, we are running out of options now. Do we really need the sandbag? Like, if we all collectively got together as a society and decided, do we actually need the sandbag outside of home run contests? I'd feel like we'd all say, eh, probably not. But I think, oh wait, I think we actually hit our item quota, though. Let me do a quick count up, and then uh, we'll regroup after that. If my calculations are correct, we should actually have one more left, uh, excluding this fella right here. So, which one of these items is worth getting rid of the most? This spiky guy. This spiky guy. Kind of annoying, but also kind of fun. And you have to be a little bit more technical with it. And he can he can shrink his spikes every once in a while if he's hit hard enough. So I don't mind him so much. The Babam is kind of a classic, but also, boy, does that get annoying. But I think that's more in line with the pinata item that will accidentally drop bombs sometimes. Is there no pinata in this game? Or does the pinata just count as like this? What did I get rid of here? Oh, that guy, yeah. Like, is the pinata just included in these crates? I kind of want the crates because they do give items, and I think that's kind of cool. You could throw them. The pill's kind of cool. Kind of neat over the capsule. Um. Oh boy. Do we need the punching bag, though? Do we need this gun? Ah, this gun is kind of cool. It's like a sniper rifle, but, like, it's not very fast, you know? Oh boy. Do we really need Mr. Snineup? Swineup? If that's even his name, which it might not be, I don't remember. Do we need this thing that throws you in the ground? I hate that thing. Oh, I hate that thing. I hate when you accidentally hit it and it's got the. Alright, I'm sorry, yeah. That's gotta be the one that goes. I don't think there's any other item left that I hate more than that one, so I think that one's out of here. Um, but just to clarify, are there any items here I just don't want to deal with? I don't really care for this one, but like also doesn't hurt anybody. Tanuki suit, kind of the same thing. Back shield. These are just like three worst items all right next to each other. I, I, I just... For the rest of my life, I think I'll play with these guns. Bullet Bill? Do I actually want to play with Bullet Bill? It's kind of brutal. I think I'd rather play with Bullet Bill though than like this guy or something. Well, alright then. I think that's the official ones. I like the landmine. I like... I, uh, <laughs> I didn't like landmine so much when it was invisible in the early games, but uh... I think, I think this will do it. I think this is our lineup. Uh, so I'm going to cut everything together, and I'll be right back when it's all cut together. All right, we're back, and I have edited uh, all these pieces into, uh, you know, one continuous thing. Definitely makes the item screen look a lot smaller, not going to lie. Um, I freaking have one extra because, you know, it's 41. So I also just put the set none right here just because I could not have just this little, little dangling guy right here. So the set none's nothing. But it got me thinking, how interesting would it be if there was a random button for item selection to where if you randomized it it would randomly choose which items are selected and which ones aren't possibly like a 50 50 kind of thing half of them get deselected half of them get uh selected or whatnot just like a you know a randomized of selection or just completely randomized i don't know i think that'd be kind of interesting also maybe not though because items are already have such a random factor as to when they spawn and where they spawn or whatnot so maybe it'd just be superfluous either way uh this is the finished product Looking at it like this, it does look like it's going to be a little bit of some crazy matches. Like, uh, every single match, um, explosive box might get kind of annoying. And, like, every single match, assist trophy might get annoying. Or Pokeball might get annoying. Wherever Pokeball is, here it is. Um, but, I think these are some relatively tame, yet more iconic choices. So, I think I could deal with it. I think I could live with this for every match. Um, just might not play Smash as much, if you know what I mean. I still prefer... You guys want to know my ideal Smash situation? It's a 1v1 or 2v2. Quite fond of 2v2s. 1v1 or 2v2 with uh, st at random stages, but without hazards. And then also some way to incorporate the Brawl Ball. Whether that... Or sorry, the, the Smash Ball. Uh, whether that be through, like, the, the Smash Meter or just, like, the regular Brawl Ball. Honestly, I don't think I want to play with the rest of these items uh, for an ideal match of mine. Uh, but I do like the idea of the Brawl Ball, because, or the Smash Ball, sorry! Because you get uh, cool final smashes with it or whatnot, and I feel like it adds to the character, which is really cool. Um, but that's just kind of my ideal situation. If I do play with items, I want them on low. I do not want them on high, despite them being on high here. I want them on low. That's, that's my thing. Um, but yeah, overall... I think these are probably my favorite items. I probably could have cut one or two more if I allowed myself to, because uh, doing only 41 
for the rest of your uh, time is like a little tricky because you don't really want to play with every item for every single match. So, uh, but ultimately, I think it was actually just about as hard as I thought it was going to be. There was a nice mix of like, I don't want to get rid of that, but also greater good scenario here. I do want to get rid of that. So uh, I thought this was kind of fun thing to do. Let me know if you guys like this kind of stuff. I know it's like weird set of videos, but um, I think I plan on doing some more. So let me know if you guys like it. And uh, if not, then, um, oh no, <laughs> if not, then check out K-Core. K-Core is uploading frequently. Wow, check it out. Okay, that's cool stuff. Uh, but that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. So long.